Come Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Hey, welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. Today we've got two great players right in the middle of a game. Let's bring them out and get into it. Charlie? Well, Jim Howard's current champion is a sales manager whose interests include cooking and tennis. His winning total in cash and prizes, $8,050 meets Barry Schulman. And his opponent is a travel agent and aspiring entertainer. His interests include writing and travel. Meet Lee Aries. Hi, Lee. What a great audience, huh? Mm -hmm. Incredible. It's going to help you guys get relaxed and get back to the game that you're right in the middle of. Let me ask you something, Lee. You're involved in traveling. You're a travel agent, right? Mm -hmm. What specific? How do you view your duties as a travel agent? I always kind of uh, plan a trip as if I was going to go on it, kind of in the hopes that someday I will. You to put yourself in their shoes and exactly. then you do a good job, huh? Mm -hmm. You're also an entertainer. Yeah, I, I act a lot, sing a little bit, and uh, I'm writing now, working on a uh, screenplay, a treatment for a television show, anything to make a mark. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you'll make your mark right here on Tic Tac Doe. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Welcome back. Barry, how are you feeling today? Very good, thank you. Good to have you back. Now, good we know what here. you do professionally, but you also, in your spare time, what do you like to do? I devote my life to tennis. You I just, play as much as I can. This man sounds like a competitor. How good are you? Getting better. I play pretty competitively, playing some tournaments, and I've placed in a couple of tournaments. And you like that competitive, uh, having that edge? Absolutely. How many times a week do you play? At least four or five times a week. Four or five? Well, this guy's a great player. I like to think I play tennis, too, but uh, I don't know if Anytime I Anytime you want to go out. All right, Barry, I'll remember that. So far, you're up to $8,050 here. Yeah. Let's see if you can up that total. Good luck to both Thank of you. Barry Shulman and Lee Aries, the players. Okay, now, we're in the middle of a game. Let's take a look at the nine categories both you and Barry and Lee are playing with. Here they are. Second job. Number, please. Country music. Classical music. Who am I? It's a dilemma. Movies. Seesaw. And places in songs. And remember, those red boxes are special categories, and I'll describe them as we get to them. Now, here's how the board looks. You see three X's, three O's, an even game so far, and the pot's worth... $1,300. So, let's go ahead and shuffle the categories. And, Barry, it's going to be your turn. Okay, I'll take classical music for the win. Barry, if you can answer this question, you'll win your third game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Now, this Spanish musician was the foremost cellist of the 20th century. In 1939, he left Spain in protest against the Franco regime and never returned. Barry, for tic-tac-doe, and a grand total, $9,550, name them. Casals. Right, you win! <laughs> All right, Barry. Pablo Casals wins you a game, a horizontal tic-tac-doe, $1,500 added to your previous winnings. You're up to now in cash and prizes. $9,550. Congratulations, Barry. Thank you, Jim. Well, right at the top of the show here, we finish up a game. We'll see how well you do against the Dragon in just one moment. Lee, you're a good player. You know, we did most of the playing on our last show. Sorry it ended so fast this time. It was short but sweet. We enjoyed having you. Best of luck in everything you try to do, Lee. We have some nice party gifts for you. Hey, Barry, you ready to uh, play against the Dragon? Good, I am. Come on over. Let's do it. Hey, you know what we're going to do? What are we going to do? Just so we have enough time, let's take a break right now. When we come back, we'll get into the bonus game. Don't go away. Okay. Welcome back. We're about ready to get into a bonus game here with Barry Shulman, who's just, uh, well, what you win your third game of Tic Tac Doe. Yeah. You ready to play against the dragon? Uh-huh. All right. Behind these numbers, very some amount of money. Yeah. There's a tick, attack, and... Look at old dragon. The good old dragon. You want to beat him, right? You don't want to hit him at all. Okay. You want to get $1,000 or more, or the chicken attack to win this terrific prize package. Charlie? Barry, these two gifts offer you the state-of-the-art way to write letters to home and something to write home about. First, Barry, your letters will be perfectly spelled thanks to this amazing computerized typewriter. 
the new Smith Corona typewriter with Spell Right 2 dictionary. It catches your mistakes before you do, finds it, erases it, and even helps you spell it. And second, Barry, you'll definitely have something to write home about when you vacation in the fun-filled city of Rio de Janeiro. The towering sugar loaf rock and the famous statue of the Redeemer greet visitors to fun-loving Rio. Experience the best of South America and visit the beaches of Copacabana and Ipanema. You'll fly a round-trip coach from Los Angeles to Rio via Varig Brazilian Airlines, a world-class airline of Brazil. There you will spend six nights at the exciting Hotel Intercontinental Rio. Located on Sao Conrado Beach, enjoy the sun and samba and quality of this full-service resort hotel. This riding home package is worth, and cash and prize is over $4,500. I have always wanted to go to Rio. Well, like Charlie says, you're definitely going to have something to write home about uh -huh. with that uh, computer hope. typewriter. Thank you, a postcard. Okay, you do that. Just avoid the dragon at all costs. You know if you get the chicken attack, you'll get the dough automatically. Okay. Is your wife Zoe in the audience? She certainly is. Can I have her help you out this time again? Okay. What do you say, Zoe? Number... The Mickey Mantle, number seven. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see what's behind number seven. 500 bucks. That's a good start. Very good start. All right. What's next? Okay. Number five. Number five. He's going to go for that center box. All right. Pack. All you need to pick or 500 bucks. Now, you can stop now if you want. Right. Number three. All right. Number three in the top right-hand corner. 400. It's all going to happen in the next one. You'll win or lose on the next pick. Number one. All right. With confidence, he says, number one. Let's see. You did it! <laughs> You're off the reel. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is incredible. Let's find out where the dragon was. Who you cares? You, that's right. <laughs> there he was, behind number nine. Okay. You did very well. So far, you picked up. 1050 the beautiful trip, the typewriter. You're up to $14,100. Way to go. Can I quit my job? Yeah, I don't know. It's your decision. You ready to meet your next contestant? I certainly am. Well, head on back okay. there. And I, Charlie O'Donnell, please, bring out a competitor that's going to really give him a challenge. Who is it? Well, we'll try, Jim. She's an accountant who once worked in the roller derby. Meet Carol Walsh. <laughs> Carol. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's fun Tell, to be here. Well, terrific. Tell us about the roller derby. Oh, well, that was way back in my wild and frivolous youth. I skated as a blocker on a New York team. Uh, when you were a youth, though, you weren't thinking it was wild and frivolous, were you? Heck no. What does a blocker do? Now, that was your position, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, a blocker, it's the, my job to keep the, the uh, jammers from the other team from going ahead and making some points. So I do a lot of fancy maneuvering of the hips and shoulders and hopefully achieve the fancy maneuvering mm -hmm. huh? it's not you know it looks when you when you see that sport it looks dangerous looks very rough fancy and painful that's why I'm an accountant <laughs> I guess <laughs> as an accountant uh, you, or whether you're roller derby or as an accountant either one you're um, you have to keep your eye on your balance of course in order to protect your assets right oh Ooh. you got it <laughs> all right look <laughs> let's go ahead Let's take a look at the nine categories both you and Barry are playing with, Carol. Here they are. Famous lovers, opponent's choice, astronomy, games, Wild West, showdown, maps of nations, auction, and nursery rhyme. Let's get into it. Barry, you're the champion. Start us off. I always want to be a cowboy. Go to Wild West. All right, let's see how well you do, Barry. It's the center part, uh, center box question. You'll have some extra time. Now, this legendary female sharpshooter could hit the thin edge of a playing card from 90 feet. She was a member of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show and was later immortalized in a hit Broadway musical. Name the sharpshooter and also name the Broadway musical. Here's your extra time. All right, Barry, this legendary female sharpshooter could hit the thin edge of a playing card from 90 feet. Name her. Annie Oakley. Right. Number two, name the Broadway musical. Showboat? No. Annie, get your oh, gun. Of course. All right, box goes unclaimed. Let's shuffle. And we'll go right over to you, Carol, for a selection. <laughs> as the audience groans. Where are you going to go, Carol? Um, let's try Famous Lovers. All right, here's the question, Carol. In 1985, actress Amy Irving gave birth to a baby boy named Max. The father was Miss Irving's longtime companion, 
the producer of the TV series Amazing Stories, and the director of some of the biggest money-making movies in history. Name them. Spielberg. Right. $200 pot. We're going to take a break. Be right back. Knock, knock. Welcome back to another day of Tic Tac Doe. Our current champion, Barry Shulman, is meeting his fourth challenger, Carol Walsh. Say, Barry, let me ask you something. You're from New York, right? I'm from the Bronx. You're from the Bronx. Carol, what about you? I'm from the Bronx, too. Couple of Bronx uh -huh. bombers here. You can tell by the class. <laughs> well, I saw a lot of hugging over there, so you definitely uh, at least come from a similar background. Let's get back to the game. $200 pot, let's shuffle. And Barry, it's your turn. Well, we're going to try it again. Wild West. Wild West. All right, you like that category. Not Go for really the center good. box. Two-part question, you'll have some extra time, Barry. In 1881, one of the Wild West's most famous showdowns took place when this lawman and his brothers, Virgil and Morgan, shot it out with an outlaw gang at this tombstone stone Arizona Corral. Name the lawman and name the corral. Here's your extra time. Wild West is the category going for that center box, Barry. In 1881, one of the Wild West's most famous showdowns took place when this lawman and his brothers, Virgil and Morgan, shot it out with an outlaw gang at this tombstone Arizona Corral. Name the lawman. Wyatt Earp. That's right. Now, for the center box, name the corral. The OK Corral. The OK Corral is right. All right, Barry, put an X in the center box. $500 pot. Time to shuffle. Over to you, Carol. Let's go with famous lovers again. Well, you like that category, Carol. Sure. Let's see what happens this time. This queen who ruled longer than any other English monarch had to propose to her husband, Albert. It would have been a breach of etiquette for any man to propose to a queen. Name that British queen who married Albert. Elizabeth. Victoria. Queen Victoria. Okay, box goes unclaimed. Let's shuffle. $500 pot. <laughs> Back to you, Barry. Okay, we'll take Wild West again. You're falling in love with that category, uh -huh. Barry. Here it is again. Many of the settlers who made the trek to the west came in sturdy, covered wagons that were so well made they could even be used as boats. Those wagons were named after the Pennsylvania town where they were first built. Name the wagon. Conestoga. Right. Okay. <laughs> Wild West gets another X for Barry. $700 pot. Let's shuffle them up. All right, Carol. Um, I'll go with famous lovers again. My goodness. Here's the question again, Carol. Famous <laughs> lovers it is. In the summer of 1985, in a much-publicized ceremony, actor Sean Penn married this pop music star while overlooking the beaches of Malibu with the news media helicopters hovering overhead. Name the woman Sean Penn married. Madonna. Right you are. <laughs> Very interesting marriage. Earns you a box, Carol. Let's go ahead and shuffle. With another row on the board, $900 pot. Okay, Barry. Well, Wild West again. Wild West Long again. What is this? Four or five times in a row, Barry. This time going for a block. When Frank and Jesse James went out to a, rob a bank or a train, they were often accompanied by three brothers named Jim, Bob, and Cole. For a block, give me the last name of the brothers who rode with the James brothers. Younger. Right. Yeah. Jim, Bob, and Cole Younger is right, Barry. Good for you. X goes on the board. Top left-hand corner. We now have a $1,100 pot. Four boxes remain. Let's shuffle. Carol. Let's go with Wild West for the blocks. This is called the Wild West Show today. Here's the question, Carol, going for a block. This hero had a mysterious past, which included both smuggling and piracy. But today, he is remembered for his valiant defense of the Alamo and for the famous hunting knife he is believed to have designed. For a block, Carol. Name him. Jim Bowie. Right. James or Jim Bowie. Bottom right-hand corner gets a successful block for Carol. We have a $1,300 pot. At this critical moment, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You air your dirty laundry for a new washer.
Welcome back to a game of tic-tac-toe between Barry and Carol. We have a pretty high pot. It's $1,300 and just three boxes remain. Let's shuffle them. Barry. Oh. I'll take auction for the win. All right, auction category is a special one, Barry. You both will play in the auction category. Now, you're going for your fourth game of tic-tac-toe here, Barry. Carol, if you get this box, you'll have a block. Now, in the auction category, you both will bid on how many correct answers you can give to this question. And remember, high bidder gets control. Now, according to the Audit Bureau of Circulation, which 10 women's magazines have the largest circulation? Barry, you chose the category. The bidding starts with you. I can name four. He says four, Carol. Can you top that? I can name five. All right, she's up to five. Barry, what do you think? Take it, Carol. Okay. All right, Carol, you're going for a block. The, according to the Audit Bureau of Circulation, which 10 women's magazines have the largest circulation? You've made a bid of five. To get your block, you must name all five. Go. Good Housekeeping. It's on the list. Red Book. Red Book's on the list. Women's Day. Women's Day is there. Two more and you'll have a block, Carol. Ladies Home Journal. It's also on the list. Give me one more, you'll have that block, Carol. Vogue. No. Barry, give me one more magazine that's on this list, and you'll win a grand total now of $15,600. Cosmopolitan. Yes, you win. Let me give you the others on the list without further ado. Better Homes and Gardens, Cosmopolitan, you said, Barry. Family Circle, Glamour Magazine, 17, and McCall. Carol, you're over there kicking yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just know you could have gotten it. Well, Barry, congratulations. A vertical tic-tac-toe, $1,500. Added to your previous winnings, you're up to now in cash and prizes, $15,600. Way to go, Barry. Once again, you're going to go up against the Dragon in just one second, but Carol Walsh, a former Bronx bummer working on the <laughs> roller derby court, you were a great player. Thank you. It was really lots and lots and lots of fun. Glad you had really fun. Nice. I know you had, had to go through quite a bit to get here. Congratulations. Thank we you. have some nice parting gifts for you, and good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Well, Barry, here we are again. You ready to do it? You bet. Come on over. <laughs> Congrats. Same thanks, Dave. Cosmopolitan Magazine. One of my favorites. Yeah, maybe Zoe's your wife's one of her favorite, right? Yeah. Well, in a moment, that dragon's going to be finding a place to hide. And, of course, before he does that, we've got to know what kind of prizes are at stake. Charlie, tell him. Well, Barry, here are gifts to make your evenings truly comfortable. First, Barry, you'll settle back into this plush recliner. A recliner rocker chair from Lazy Boy Chair Company. Enjoy genuine Lazy Boy quality and comfort as you rock or recline. Relax, it's from Lazy Boy. Then you'll unwind with soft music on the superb stereo. Atachi's integrated black rack stereo system, soft touch dual cassette tape deck, two-way high grown cone speakers and graphic equalizer set in the richly finished hickory grain cabinet from Hitachi. Next, you'll drift off to sleep on this firm new mattress. Energize yourself on award-winning Metacoil by Therapeutic, the mattress sleeping the world with patented anti-sag support and non-rip handles too. And finally, Barry, here's a prize worth more than $1,000 that will combine comfort with beauty at the end of an evening, this lavish bedroom suite. A five-piece casual contemporary style bedroom with triple dresser and chest, natural oak graining blended with functional brass pools creates a view sophistication for I Broy Hill. This evening comfort package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,650. Yeah. Well, you ready to furnish the home a little bit more? Well, we just finished furnishing downstairs, and we just furnished upstairs, so I'll start in the bedroom upstairs. Sky's the limit. Uh -huh. All right, just avoid the dragon at all costs. Get the tick and attack, you'll get the dough automatically. Okay. All right, we moved him around. He's found a place to hide right now. Where are you going to go to start off? What do you want to do? Number seven again. Number seven. Lucky number seven. Bottom left hand corner, 250. All right, number 750, and you got it. Number right. nine. Number nine. Across the way there in the other corner. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh. My goodness. Let's find out where everything else was. Where were the numbers? The tick, the tack. That over time, number one and eight. All right. Well, you know what's at stake now? No. You're in a moment. Uh, we're going to take a break. But before we do that, let me tell you. Okay. You beat one more opponent. You're going to win a brand new car. <laughs> 
All right? Fine with me. So contemplate that. We'll take a break and come right back okay. after this message. We're just about out of time. Barry, I want to congratulate you. You've defeated four opponents. We'll see if you win a car in our next show. Sounds good to me. Best of luck. Thank You'll be you. coming back with $15,600. <laughs> I'm Jim Paul. Well, we'll see you next time. Some of our opponents have ever see the look on someone's face who's just won $100,000. You want drama? Watch this game show, The $100,000 Pyramid with Dick Clark, today at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. Doctor, for professional results at a fraction of the cost, the vibrating brush removes deep down dirt. Rug doctor, steaming mad at dirt. Tag Doe is a Jack Barry and Dan Enright production.